wow. right place, you might just be tempted to try the English Bulldog out. They're, they're Number cute. 18, they really are. The Tibetan Mastiff. Mm. Behold, the Tibetan Mastiff, by and large one of the biggest dog species ever created, and that's saying something given how big some dogs can get. But while mm. you may be in awe of its massive size and its luxurious fur coat, you do need to be a little careful if you do try to make it a pet. These dogs were bred to be efficient guard dogs, and that makes them extremely territorial. Their size and coats were bred by the people of Tibet to be able to walk them through the snow-filled regions of their homeland and to withstand the coldest of temperatures that they may have. Hey, hey, easy, that hurt! Ow, Luna! Ooh. So this isn't exactly a dog that you want to have roaming around with you in places like California or Florida. In terms of size, they do tend to be about two feet tall, measuring from the feet to the shoulders, and they can be very <laughs> what do you want? Females weigh anywhere from what do you want? to 20 pounds, and males can be in upwards of 90 to 150 pounds. So that's a lot of bulk that you need to consider should you decide to Man, get one. That being arm. said, she if you like are able to get this dog point. and you're able to train it properly, eat the foot. Eat the foot. There is. Eat the foot. Eat the foot. Which makes it a pretty great dog. The only real downside is that because of what it takes to breed and then get this dog, you'll be spending upwards of about ten thousand dollars. Oh, for a slobber Number seventeen. Dog. <laughs> Pharaoh Hound. Ooh, that's a pretty dog, that but it looks very scary. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey! Right now, this is not the spot, guys. In fact, a species known as the pharaoh hound was one that not only was Who? with the Luna. rulers of Egypt in ancient times, no. but was also known as their She's just trying to block you from him. So good are they as a breed that many claim they haven't changed in 5,000 years. Most species evolve in one way or another during a span like that, but not this dog. <laughs> The pharaoh hound has a remarkable personality that's characterized by an immense joy of life. It's intelligent and affectionate and takes life as it comes, enjoying clowning for his people. Not something you'd expect from a dog, but trust me when I say that this dog is full of tricks. And if you don't believe me, well, what if I told you that the pharaoh hound can actually blush? That's right. It has the ability to change the color of its nose when it's excited. Even its ears will change colors in the right emotion. And many owners actually train their pharaoh hounds to smile. Since this fun-loving breed enjoys smiling so much, it's not really that difficult of a trick to teach. So all in all, you'll have a dog that's loyal, loves to hunt, loves to play, will emote You're so like cute, buddy. You're so cute. I did you cute too, Luna. Did you are cute too. Luna. Luna. Did you are you cute too. Park a lot when it's left alone or gets bored, and since you have to pay seventy-five hundred dollars oh for one, God. it's not Do you want a twenty foot too? Don't you the foot too? Don't you in the foot too? No! The top party. Did you are the top party? The top party. The top party. Yeah. Cavaliers are the best of two worlds, combining the gentle athleticism of a sporting spaniel. It's bad to have dogs that have those long ears like that. The sweet, gentle, they get melting ear expression really easy, emanating from and they, their large, fur round fur eyes is the breed's their ear 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 Another is its silky, richly colored coat that can be one of four 